if you can remember last week, there was a misunderstanding between Aousa and Yoruba living in Ibadan, or your state, Nigeria. It happens when the Yoruba are destroying Aousa properties that they should leave their town and go back to northern Nigeria to continue their businesses at their various states. This misunderstanding causes so many reactions from different groups such as Arewa Youth Initiative forums, some prominent governments from the northern Nigeria. Here are some of the basic things that Yorubas need to know which will affect them if Aousa people leave Ibadan state, Ibadan or your state. I'm sure a lot of people are mischievous, very, very mischievous. Oh, Yorubas just woke up. He said misunderstanding. What was the misunderstanding? Oh, because, uh, oh, I don't like what you just do. Oh, okay, you talk to me like this. Is that what, you know, those are the things you call misunderstanding. Oh, I asked you to do this. You didn't do this. Oh, why are you not doing that? It's a different thing. You see, a lot of people are talking what they don't even understand. They want to they want to paint the narratives or to change the narratives to so paint it in a different way, saying that uh, Yoruba just woke up and said start living, just start living like that without anything. And I'm sure these are the same people who are mischievous, always twisting issues, always twist, twisting matters. Was that what happened? Because if somebody who had, who's never who has never even heard what happened, they would just say, ah why why are these people like this? Why are these people like this? It's deeper than that, and that is why. You see all these uh, governors, the so-called leaders, they will just come up and try to say, okay, 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 uh, it's okay, uh, just stop it. But what actually caused this whole thing? Why did you do this? What led to this? What led to this? Let us know. But they pretend as if nothing is happening. Oh, they just pretend as if uh, some uh, some elements, all those they are nonsense English they speak, oh, some uh, unscrupulous elements, they are trying to divide the country. And meanwhile, all your characters, all the all the... All the, the service you are giving, you know, you are you have to the people. All this, your mismanagement, all the corruption, that one is not enough to cause war. And they will not be twisting it so that the blame will not come to them. Because all of this is, by the time you trace it, you will still trace it to those who are calling for uh, peace, those who are calling for one Nigeria. They are the ones, invariably, causing this whole problem. Well, by the time they now see that people begin to understand the kind of game they are playing, they are now beginning to change. Every I say it, 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 it is not politicized. What is politicized? If it is not politicized, then why are we having democracy? Is it all about politics? So when people come out and say, oh, the uh, the Yorubas or the Igbos that are pursuing all those people to go back to their state or to go back to their north, you don't even talk about the nitty-gritty, the bad thing that usually happens. How can somebody just wake up and just stab somebody or just kill somebody on the spot and you expect people to have... And, and believe you me, this kind of a thing has been happening over and over again. People are always trying to, especially the Yorubas, they are always trying to absorb. They are trying to, oh, okay, let's all just look at things from the from another angle. They are not quick to start revenge, to you know, go into revenge. They do are not quick. So by the time you are pushing somebody that you think that the person is a is a novice or the person is a dummy, doesn't know what he's doing. By the time you do it one day, you will not be surprised. Then you now want to put the blame back on the person. All of these things, that is why I say, all of these things are just window dressing, trying to settle a case when you know that attractively that some people are there for for trouble. Telling us that uh, because uh, uh, Yorubas are in the north, uh, Igbos are in the north. So that is will not give all these people that uh, opportunity to misbehave. And that is what they have been using to hold them back. All this why a lot of them fear, fear. Hey, you know how people are there, they, but they are killing you people here. Before you know, they will all travel. They will come and bobo all your governors, all your leaders. And they will go back to their share. Well, according to this person, that there are some basic things that the uh, Yorubas need to know. These are the threats that we are talking about. These are the black blackmail that we are talking about. The commercial stuffs, <laughs> transportation of goods from northern Nigeria to southern Nigeria will be tough because Yorubas staying in the region will be fear, will be afraid because because they will think that what they did to Hausa people will also they will also revenge it. Secondly, commercial of food items you all know arewa is the home of agriculture exporting <laughs> of goods such as a tomatoes onions rice and so many food items will be stopped this can cause problems to the state like uh, for example see what a truck transporting tomatoes from north to south happen to him see there is nobody that is island of everything nobody has monopoly to anything if one way closes, another way will open. The reason why you see that a lot of people 
are not doing some kind of stuff because they believe that okay you are doing this okay what is done the essence but if you put your mind to say okay since this thing this castle that we are talking about people will go and people themselves they will begin to go into that business themselves they will begin to go into those business themselves so all this uh we have because of that so the what the food will not end in the old world people will not be able to eat because uh, because they are bringing uh, all those stuff from that place you think that uh, people from the there's nobody that cannot do anything if you put your mind into it. If you say you want to do it, so be it. So for the fact that other people are doing it, doesn't mean that other people cannot do it. All these, uh, all these uh, excuses to me, they don't fly. All these excuses, they don't fly. Is that what is not giving all these people the F entry or the 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 this to be to be misbehaving? Is that what is not giving them the this to misbehave? No, we should say it the way it is. It is this fear, 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 fear thing that has brought all uh, everybody to where we are today. Oh, ah, let us just forget. And these people, they will not say, ah, hey, we know, don't worry, we, we, they, we know how to get them. Mm? They will be afraid now. By the time you use all these uh, points to them, they will go back to their shell. That is why you see that they are getting stronger. These so people, people that are from the north, some, not all of them, majority of them, that's why you see that they are so aggressive. Any little thing they have brought out knife, any little thing they have brought out that girl. What kind of a thing is that? Nobody has a monopoly to all this nonsense. So. What will happen to the Yoruba people when I also leave the state? The question again, will we will we be exporting goods and services from northern Nigeria to southern Nigeria? And a lot of people are reacting to this kind of question. Me, I've already reacted to because to me it, it makes no it makes no sense. If you think that I cannot get it from you, there are other ways to get it. All this uh, story, all these uh, excuses do not hold water. For me, it do not hold water. But why is it that you don't talk about the atrocities committed by all these people? <laughs> because these people can be funny, honestly. Well, if Aosa farmers harvest their crops and they did not see where to sell it, then... They will realize their mistakes of causing havoc in south in southern Nigeria. Exactly. Yeah, if you want to, yeah, only you chop your thing now. There must be a way. There must be a way. What we need to be talking about is why are these people doing this? The Fulani Esme that have been committing all these atrocities. People said you should not say anything. If they they decide to hold their car, let them hold their car there. And also, the uh, Miyeti Allah came out told us yesterday that a. Uh, Southwest consume uh, 8,000 cows every day. So does it mean it's only cow? See, when the available becomes, when the uh, uh, the preferable is not available, the available becomes preferable. If that is, it, it, if it's going to make the people to say they want to stop eating cow, or they will say, oh, they are not going to be bringing cow. Just like somebody said, only you go chop your cow now. There are other alternatives. Is because we are always, you know, for us to change is always difficult. But when the need arises for you to make that change, you will see that there are a lot of alternatives and you begin to blame yourself that what was I looking before? What was I thinking? So there are other, other alternatives here and I and I was just I just conditioned myself to this particular thing. That is how this life is. All of these uh, excuses to use to blackmail the southerners or to bobo them. For where those who are gonna fall for that, we still fall for that. But to me, I believe that. With or without all these things, people are surviving. And they are, even the Southerners are even helping them in the first place. Like someone says, hey, hey, you are going to eat your thing by yourself. Well, Aosa farmers can't survive without bringing their crop to the South. If we stop them from coming, Northern states will be on fire. They can't survive. How? What fire? Who among the Northerners cannot survive? Okay, let them keep their things down. Because if really they, they know that... Uh, they can they can buy their things themselves then there's no point them bringing them because most of them most of the things they sell over there the the, the prices the amounts at which they sell it in the south they can't sell it over there they can't sell it over there so that does not give room that does not give room that is to tell you that uh, everybody needs everybody but if you think that uh, because uh, people are just trying to be civil trying to be gentle then you want to take their gentility to take it for granted you not know that it's not going to work if it has been working before, a time will come that it will never work again. Well, nothing new will happen. Stop deceiving yourself. Go and eat your food stuff in your state. The South will also farm for the needs. If Nigeria is divided, we the South can survive. We will import fertilizer to grow our food. And we can also buy things from our neighboring countries. 
for the main time. That's it. Nothing will happen. What? Not, not, not in anybody. Everybody can stay on their own. Of course, they will come back because the Yorubas and the Aousas need, need each other. The Aousas and the North need the Yorubas, just like the Yorubas need the uh, Yorubas in the South. They need they need each other, at least in a, uh, in a nutshell, they need each other. But if anybody feels that it's too big, uh, you now say that, say, if you think that you are too big or you can't do without anybody, then you just, you just write the person off. But the question is that all this problem, if we don't deal with these problems, if you don't send some people that what you are doing, we know what you are doing. You cannot continue with what you are doing. You expect, to, expect us to fold us. We understand all of, all of the games that you are playing. You need to desist from all of those evil acts. That is when peace can really reign. So, guys, let us hear your opinion concerning this. Thank you.